Hello, my team friend. Uh, today I'm going to start a new series uh, introducing traditional Chinese music theory. Well, I think I shouldn't say traditional. Um, I should just call it Chinese music theory. Uh, in fact, <clears throat> um, maybe better call it a Guqin music theory, right? Um, so, um, music theory is very important, and Guqin and Chinese music has its own music theory. Um, and, um, you know, there is a misunderstanding about Chinese music. Many people would say, you know, Chinese music is pentatonic. That is probably the greatest um, misnomer. Uh, misunderstanding. So to me, Chinese music is not pentatonic. Um, so rather the five notes, right, the corresponding to um, Do, Re, Mi, Sol, La, right, in Chinese is called Gong, Shang, Jue, Zhi, Yu corresponding to do, re, mi, sol, la. So it's not like a piece of music can only use these five notes. Rather, these five notes, uh, gong, shang, jue, zhi, yu, or do, re, mi, mi sol, la, um, in Chinese music, each one of them can be the tonic, can be the main note, right? which is usually like the uh, last note in a piece of music, right? Just like in Western music, right? We have the major note, which end um, on Do, and uh, minor key um, end on La. So, oh, by the way, so um, in, in my talking, in my discussion, I use the, um, the movable Do, right? Movable Do. So Do, is always um, <clears throat> referred to like the the tonic in the major key in Western music. That's how I use it. All right. So I use movable do. So it's not like a pentatonic in Western music means it's a scale that you only use do re mi sol la. While in Chinese music, that's not the case at all. Um, uh, do re mi sol la. Each one of them can be the tonic. So piece, a piece of music can end on Do, can also end on Re, on Mi, on So, on La. So that's the, the, the meaning and the significance of the Gong Shang Jue Zhi Yu. So it's not pentatonic. So um, for example, you know, um, in uh, Chinese music, the not only um, fa and xi are used, but also um, fa sharp, right? Fa sharp, those are also very often used, and do sharp, and there are specific terms. For example, fa is called a qing jue, right? Mi is jue, and fa is qing jue. Well, fa sharp is uh, called a bian zhi, right? Um, and then T um, is called the bian gong, right? So these, all these notes are used. Um, all the 12 notes are used in Chinese music. So it's not pentatonic. The five notes only refer to different modes, like you can end on do, end on re, end on mi, end on so, end on la. So that's the meaning of the gong shang jue zhi yu in Chinese music. So, uh, in, for example, the secluded orchid, um, you know, I play a small section and you can hear all kind of notes are being used, um, like in this middle section.
So um, this one, um, like, um, right? Um, so this is like um, re mi, right? Re mi, re mi. And here we have the fa sharp. And then so. Do, re, so, la, so. Right? So fa sharp. And then. So here is a T, right? Um, so so la so la. T T T do. Um, here fa sharp again. So so fa so. Um. Here, fa sharp, fa mi mi, so um, anyway, so it's um, it's not pentatonic, I think this is what I wanted to get through uh, in this first, uh, first one uh, in the series, so uh, gong shang jue zhi yu is not five notes in a scale, well it is five notes in the scale, but it, that's not the only meaning. So gong shang jue zhi yu means the all can be the tonic. Uh, do, re, mi, so, la. All the five notes can be the tonic, can be the main note. Uh, you can end on it to bring to a full cadence, right? So uh, do, re, mi, so, la, all of them can be ended as um, a full cadence, right? So it's not pentatonic. And, you know, knowing this music theor theory um, is very important um, because, you know, when I hear, for example, um, in Mulan, uh, in, in the, you know, Disney movie Mulan, um, so there, the main theme of the music, it goes like this. So do la, so do la, so do la la, so mi so re, mi so la la, so mi so re, mi so la, so mi re do. So I immediately recognize that this is not written by someone who knows Chinese music. This is written by someone who only knows um, Western music and just get rid of fa and a t and then end on do, writing the melody like, you know, a, a major key, and just, you know, cut all the fa and all the t. And also, um, another example in Kung Fu Panda, so the main melody uh, lo goes like this. Mi so la la so mi so re do la. And a longer version, mi so la la so mi so re do la do la so la. And then there is a faster version of the variation of the same melody, same theme. Mi so la do la so mi so re do la do la so la. So you again, this is written by someone who does not know Chinese music who is just writing it in the minor key. Again, get rid of all the fa and the t, and then end on la. So writing, um, you know, that's pentatonic, basically. So, um, you know, understanding Chinese music as a pentatonic uh, make music like this. And to me, these are not the best music and um, they are certainly not Chinese music. They are just, you know, they are pentatonic. They are Western pentatonic music, while Chinese music is much, much richer, right? 
So this is the you know, first of the series. And then built upon this, I'm going to introduce further um, you know, Chinese music theory right? or uh, Guqin music theory um, and or my understanding of Chinese music theory. Thank you. If you like it, please like, uh, share, and subscribe.